absolute money for Tway Tit, but Hello, I'm Glava. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. 27 YouTube channel. I'm going to give you a chance to like it. From the red corner, we hit! We love! The Lumpini Stadium has erupted. We have three three-minute rounds of featherweight Muay Thai. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of flip side team, with a fight record of 15 and 0. Representing Uzbekistan, Mathlon Beck, Warrior, Kokoro. And introducing the opponent, out of the red corner, training out of family one charge with a fight record of 51 and 2, a 96% win rate. Representing Myanmar, Dwayne Thin Willow! I'm ready. Thank you. Thank you. Please switch over there. Thank you. Okay, listen to my command at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now, and back to your corners. Referee Chris Bachelador Judge, with the assignment Judge, Judge, in Ty. our next Muay Thai Nui. matchup. Nui. Only the best of the best in the world are invited to one championship, the world's largest stage of martial arts, and both these guys are gunning for their ticket to the world's largest martial arts organization. Both of them open up with kicks at that southpaw stance. Mitch Chilson alongside Brian McGrath here at the epicenter of Muay Thai. Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Mavlon Beck looking to open up with that heavy left kick as Tway Tit touches the leg. Both fighters exchanging low kicks early. Tway Tit loves that heavy low kick, but Kakarov showing he can low kick as well. Kakarov doing good work with the lower body as he was setting up the hands. Tway Tit closes that distance, ties him up in the body lock. Chris Bachelador separates. We're going Muay Thai rules. Three three-minute rounds here. Ten-point must system being used by three judges ringside. As Kakarov touches the leg of Tway Tit. Tway Tit loads up with that big left hand, follows it up with a nice right body kick. Simple combination, very effective. The left hand over the top, the lead leg to the body the way he did and was driving Kakarov back. But now Kakarov has the way he did on the ropes, mm -hmm. mixing up his low kicks nicely to the inside and outside of the lead leg. Woo, big left hand. Doing good work with that inside low kick, Ryan. Touching the legs. But it seems like it's just sort of a distraction. Like, look at the feet, look at the feet, and boom, there are the hands. So many things you can do with a low kick game exactly, Mitch. Do damage, get the opponent's attention downstairs, utilize them as face to set up the hands. Oh, big left hand there from Dway Tit. Dway Tit looking to counter strike, goes first at that opportunity. Kakarov going to the body. Dangerous game here, boys. to a plan. You want to resist that one shot knockout power. Bachelor separates Stop. the clinch. And they get right back to the R8 limbs. Inside leg kick again. The best weapon so far for Kakarov as he goes outside. He's quick with that evasive maneuver as well. Not really trying to check, but trying to step out of the way. He doesn't even want to play that leg game with Tway Tit. That's right. You can pull your legs away every now and then. It's nice to mix, mix in a block. Tway Tit there stepping in on the left hand, feeling like he did some damage. He tips with the jump Moves him to the side and follows up with a big jumping knee. Oh, this crowd is getting loud in here as Tway Tit continues to push forward. Tway Tit is definitely a fan favorite here inside Lumpini as he's looking to time the shot from Kakarov. Good fadeaway hook right there for Kakarov. 
Uh, but it looked like it was just a slip from Tway Tick to end the first round. Tway Dick getting a bit wild with his left hand there. He wants to put that thing on Mob Lombek Kakarov's chin so bad, but he needs to stay composed. He needs to make sure that he does not get too wild and eat a counter shot. Here's some beautiful knees coming by way of the fighter, that fighter from Uzbekistan here, turning the corner, following up with the jumping knee. That's a great tactic and certainly got Way Dick's attention. Big left hand there though, landing, thrown by the fighter from Myanmar. Good back and forth. Both of these guys kind of having to stand in front of hey, each other and bang it out, really. Dry, dry, dry. Yeah, I'd like to see Tway Tit throw more multi-shot combinations because Kakarov is good at evading those first Thank couple you. ones with hand carries and head movement, but the aggression and the closing of the distance from Tway Tit, he's able to score with that third and fourth shot, so maybe he can land more of that here in this second round. Interesting first three minutes, Brian, as Kakarov goes to the body and Tway Tit answers back with a shot of his own. Kakarov uses more of that kickboxing style of defense. Here catching the kick. The parry a shot out of the way. Pull his legs out of the way rather than block. Could have been a possible high pull right there. Max Lador calling a halt to the action. He's going to send him over to the medical team to take a look at the eye. In that first round, Brian, how'd you score that? You give a slight advantage to him. I mean, it's a tough one. The way he did had, you know, some great combinations. Landed some big shots, especially a clean left hand at one point. But Bob Lombek more composed, did more damage to the legs inside and outside of the lead leg. I mean, a two, though, you gotta remember, Mitch, the crowd is so behind these fighters from Myanmar. They're screaming every time he lands a shot. That could affect the judges. I know that's not a very committed answer. <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. okay. You can sit on the fence. That was a close one. That was a close first round. Here we go. Back to action in the second round. Mavlon Beck, Kakarov ready to get started here. He goes to the body. Again. Oh. Got to be careful with that follow-up shot. Over there. Over there. Stay there. Over there. Come with me. Bachelor door giving him some time. Yeah, we just like I'm fine. Let's go. Okay, he's okay, but safety definitely our number one concern of our athletes. Bachelor door gonna go over and give Mamon Beck Kakarov a warning. Yeah, nice check hook here. But then following up the elbow while his opponent was on his knees, whether it was intentional or not. It is illegal. Oh, wow. One point. Okay. door is taking a point. One point, okay? One point, okay? Okay, listen. Down fire, okay? Keep it clean. Bachelor Thank door you. taking a point. You're okay. From Lomp on back. Thank you. Okay, now gentlemen. he's going to have some urgency on his side and going to have to get active right. here. This fight could possibly get even more interesting. Hard to believe. We did landing a big left kick to the leg there. He's got his hands out and open, looking like he wants some parry punches and utilize his kicks. He's also doing a good job of slipping and ripping. Using that head movement to stay light on his feet. Very evasive. And lands a clean left hand. Fingers closed. Kakarov looking at time and entry with a fadeaway check hook. Can't quite find the Fingers mark. Closed. Carries the hands out forward, goes back to that inside leg kick. Fingers! Tway Tit lunging forward Fingers. 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 with that big Fingers. left hand. Misses the mark, though. Kakarov does a great job of just getting out of Fingers. range and countering with hooks. In a few more flurries and exchanges, he might land that thing clean cleanly. Tway Tit again letting his posture get low. Able to bring his head down, throw knees, really leverage that position. Yeah, Tate Twit's gonna have to stay a little bit sharper. Well, boys, he answers yeah. like that, right. driving yes. his head forward. Kakarov does a good job of creating those frames, defending well, finding the space, just like that. See, there's a frame off of the left hand. 
or sorry, the right hand, and then he fires off with the left. Dangerous striker. Good use of the clinch there to redirect the pressure. <laughs> That's coming from Toy Tim as he spins into the back elbow. Oh, the clean left hand landed by Toy Tim. Hakorov looking great in the clinch, but did eat a sharp stabbing left from Toy Tim. Looking to spin into an elbow. Here, using some dirty boxing, very effective ways to create an opening to strike. Once again, like you said, Mitch, framing, looking for another spinning elbow along the ropes. That left hand is absolute money for Tway Tit, but Kakarov going to the body with a left shot of his own. Tway Tit's ultra tough. We talked about it on the walk, Brian, but it's definitely on show here in this second round. The 10 second chopper is sounded. Kakarov was set up for a giant left hand, but Bachelor stepped in the left hand and has the knee to end the round as well. But the one point deduction could loom heavy in the judges' eyes and scorecards if this match sees another three minutes, but I'm looking forward to the next three minutes. Mitch, that is the thing, that X factor, that point that was taken. Kakorov seeming to have found weapons that he can land in the clinch, the range that he wants to do this thing at. Great shot to the body there. Bringing the head low, wrapping up in the clinch, using his knees. Demonstrating great technique in the clinch and at close range. Always having to be wary of Dwayne Ditt's left hand. But I think Bob Lombek Kakarov right. is finding, has found the range that he is going to try down. to bring Thank this you. fight to for the right. rest Ready of the match, you? this remaining Thank third round. Thank you. All right, third and final so round. So much third, experience third. Okay. on the side well of Kakarov. 15 and 0 since he's restarted his career. Highly successful as an amateur left fighting for 10 years, but one Friday fight has brought him back with a vengeance. Tway Tin on the other side has a record of 51 and 2. Just an astonishing record. Ultra tough on display here too, looking to extend his win streak to 52 wins. But Kakarov really leveling up here in this third and final round with a downward elbow inside that clinch. Out muscling Tway Tin inside that close range, Brian. Well, very tricky in the clinch, the way he changes angles, pulls his opponent around. Really effective in that clinch position, utilizing his elbows and his knees. Great weapon selection. Boy, did really having trouble adjusting. Nice snappy jab there. A stumble, trying to close that distance from Tway Tit. Win the arm as Kakarov goes to the body with the foot. That's huge for Kakarov, doing a great job of attacking the body. I think the way did is hurt to the body right now. Kakarov does a great job in the clinch, always taking the angle, setting up a position to throw a strike, an elbow, or a knee. Very crafty. I know you get really excited whenever you see those toes go to the body, Brian. And that could have been the shot that really set the wheels in motion for Kakarov here. Good work inside that close range. One minute to go in the third and final round. Greg Dick just really struggling in the clinch, not dealing with it well at all, not able to defend. Kakarov okay. very physically strong in this position. Also crafty, taking those angles, going to the left, pulling this opponent through, throwing the knee, moving to the other side. The elbow here, letting his hands go, framing off, like you said before, as we're pushing into the ropes. Constantly changing levels, never letting Dwayne set his feet. That was a shove. Knocked him down. 20 seconds to go in this third and final round. Kakarov needs to go. Needs to throw caution to the wind as he spins with a back fist. Connects inside the clinch. Ties him up. 
Come on. Tweets it, swings Come on, in. All right, good. You good, good? The bam. Fax Lador separates the action. Oh. And the bell sounds. The judges have their work cut out for themselves. Brian, what a battle. But that second round and the point deduction for Kakarov is going to be huge. But then the knockdown to the third, Brian, that third round's probably going to be scored 10 8 in favor of Kakarov. Oh, man, a lot of math going on in that third, or that, that entire match. That's right. I don't even want to touch this thing, Mitch. Don't <laughs> ask me. I just sit here and talk about the fights. But my gosh, Kakarov finding that he can be very dominant in the clinch, doing such a good job of always throwing off the balance of Dwight Dick, using his knees and his elbows. Fun fight. Let's go to Nara for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Mavlon Beck, ตัวอารมณ์ยังไม่เหนียวก็มาหมู่ยังสนิทไปต่อเลยอย่างไรเอ็มมี่เนี่ยเป็นเด็กเด็กเรียนจังหวะเรียนชิ้นเรียนนี